A new space has been launched in El Socorro, and it's more about increasing your appetite than just an eye-opener. In tonight's Business Insight, Sunil Lala chats with the owners of The Forge, which aims to be a trailblazer for the local food and hospitality industry. Rediscover Flow at discoverflow.co. Flow, inspired by you. The Forge, it's a new state-of-the-art culinary space that's been opened by Advanced Commercial Equipment in El Socorro South. And according to its managing director, Rishma Avani Rojas, its recent opening is already turning heads, enhancing appetites, and bringing chefs together. People underestimate the Caribbean diaspora. And now that I have regional footholds, because we're responsible now for the entire English-speaking Caribbean, it was time for us to do something of our own, something created by and for the people and for it to be homegrown. She says it's an ultra-modern space to not only produce culinary shows, but one to teach and develop food training and knowledge and use of the AI-powered equipment. So this isn't just limited to traditional chefs. I work a lot with the Ministry of Education on teaching healthy food programs for school feeding. I work with the Ministry of Health on developing hospital kitchens and making sure that the patients get the required nutrition. With the closing of the Trinidad and Tobago Hospitality and Tourism Institute, better known as the Hotel School in Chagaramas during the pandemic, Ms. Avani Rojas believes it's a major gap being filled with her latest initiative. I know a lot of up-and-coming chefs that simply don't have the room, the finance or the support to have access to the stuff that we have, which is why it's so important to us that we've provided every single thing for them. We have every knife, every cutting board, every glass, and every top tier piece of equipment. So they're able to come in and get to where they need to be a lot faster. In-house chef Ariane Polline will be leading the forge in terms of the education and training aspect. So she's been trained by these companies, not only on these pieces of equipment, but in a, a huge range of things, including safety, cross-contamination, allergens, I don't know how much that's really taught in a realistic sense and more and more we're seeing kids coming out with very dangerous food allergies, not understanding the food that's going into their bodies. And Ms. Alvani Rojas is also hoping for collaboration with the Ministries of Education and Health in the coming months. There should be school kids in here learning about not only food safety and allergens, but learning about the process of actually cooking your own food, learning what goes into your body, reading a menu, reading a recipe. It's time to expose our kids to more than just what they see in a box. As for the AI-powered equipment, she believes it's definitely a major game changer. We are not just with the curve, we're ahead of it. So we're at the point now where we are teaching people to use AI in things like you're putting ingredients into an oven, it measures that it's heavier or lighter than it was and auto adjusts everything out. So huge companies, food service companies, pharmacy companies are already on board with us to start implementing this AI technology through their industries. And with the AI technology, what we're all wondering is whether doubles could be made in it. I can make doubles in it. Watch me, I can make anything in it. I am Sonolala with your TTT News Business Insight. Rediscover Flow at discoverflow.co. Flow, inspired by you. Get extra credit for back to school with Flow. Save $1,300 for a year when you sign up, switch, or upgrade to an everything you need plan. Plus, get $500 cash back. Terms and conditions apply. Offer ends September 30th. Visit us online or in-store for details. Flow, inspired by you.